Okay, it's already later in the day. Let me put you in the van to explain what just happened. It is so cozy in this van. You guys have no idea. It's so nice. Out of the wind, it's a little hot, but obviously the van's not on. All the windows are up and it's the middle of summer. So, tell me how this happened. Flying the drone, as you guys saw, in the middle of nowhere, well, not the middle of nowhere, it's close to me, but no trees around, or not at least within like 50 feet of the drone. It was between 10 to 20 feet up, and all of a sudden it just fell out of the sky. No idea what happened, so I'm like, ah, oh, that's kind of weird. It just like, just going, and then pfft, fell out of the sky. Nothing weird, I don't know, so I pulled up to it, put like a GPS thing on so I could find it, and this is how I found it. It's broken. Like, what causes that? It, it had to have broke when it hit the ground. Maybe, maybe it just like froze and the whole thing dropped and it hit the ground and broke. It must have, like that's the only thing I could really think of. Luckily I got the warranty, so I'm, today's a holiday. Today's Monday, it's a holiday in Canada, so I'm sure everywhere's closed, but I'll call around tomorrow and see if I can get someone to fix this. But that's why I stopped the video there. Also, quick update on the van. It's going super well counters in you can see the floors in the beds back in it's coming re it's getting really really close actually you can see the lights are in the roof i didn't make a video of all that because it was such tedious like half an hour here when i was done work half an hour there when i was done work half an hour half an hour half an hour i'm like man by the time i do this it's like two weeks worth of one video so i wasn't gonna bother with it but let's get back to the civic <laughs> Okay, so good news, just got off the phone with DJI and they submitted a repair request, whatever form. So I'm gonna get that sent out, gonna get that fixed. Hopefully it doesn't take three years to get it fixed. But as I mentioned in my last video, I got a set of new rims and tires for the Civic, which obviously I'm putting on today. And they are 16 by seven Rota GT3s. And I think these are gonna look pretty good on that. Now, these have definitely been repainted multiple times. One of these, you can barely see it on this one, but one of these has like a blue layer and then it's a white layer and then it's this copper bronze, actually more of a brownish color and it definitely has like sand scratch marks in it, but whatever, I'm just gonna run these. These tires are okay, but they're all dry rot, so I'm gonna need new tires, but I'm literally just gonna run these crappy rims and these crappy tires on this beautiful car for the time being. The more I look at this, the worse they get. Three out of the four rims have different tires on them. They've all been repainted. I'm just gonna put them on, I'm gonna send them. I'll probably put the matching ones in the rear because when I pass you, you're gonna see the rear tires. So I got one of them on. I don't know how I feel about it. Before I show you this, it definitely, definitely does need bigger tires. I do want to go bigger tires, a little bit more aggressive of a tread, make it be kind of that all-terrain, like it's it's a street car, but I want to look like I take it to the sand pits, which I do want to do that. But here we go, this is what it looks like. So, mm, it's so tough. I don't know why the camera doesn't capture it. Like, it looks like dark brown. It's not, it's it's more of like a goldish brown in person. I don't know, maybe it'll look fine when I'm editing it. That kind of captures it a little bit better, but I think if this had a little bit of a bigger tire, it would kind of get rid of this gap a little bit and it would just kind of fill everything out nicely. Something else this definitely needs that I didn't end up putting on after I did the lift kit is a camper kit. I never ended up buying one, I don't know why. And the tires, you can definitely see the tires are facing in like that like it's not negative camber it's positive camber and it looks pretty weird so i guess this week i'm gonna have to order them up i'm thinking true heart everyone says true heart we'll see let's get the rest of them on So I managed to get all the sides on and for some reason, this is the only side that touches. I have no idea why. This is the right rear and you can see right here, it actually touches and I'm looking here and this actually touches too. And it's never done that before. So I'm trying to take a peek around see if anything's broken or not. But like every other corner is fine. So like it's not the tire, like it is a pretty thick tire but this isn't the problem. It's something in here.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting really frustrated. I'm losing my mind. I'm looking at all corners and I'm like, well, it's all done the same. Why is this one so different? I can try swapping the back, one of the back tires to the front, but I don't know if that'll make a difference or not. I don't know if you can really see that or not. I'll try turning up the brightness a bit. But right here and here and here, it's actually touching the tire. I have no idea what to do. I am completely lost. Actually, no, now that I'm looking at it, it's just this one that's touching. I don't know, maybe the tires are different. Like, they're definitely different treads. And I know that some brands, 205 in this brand and 205 in that brand is different, so I can try swapping them, see what I get, but I don't know. I'm gonna go have a bite to eat and I'll come back out and try swapping them and maybe that'll work. Okay, back from lunch, remember how I said earlier three out of the four tires are different? Well, some tire companies will make like, let's say a 205 is like this, like a square, and in some companies a 205 would be more rounded off. And this is a perfect example of that is this side the tire was touching this side wasn't so i swapped the tire or so i took the tires off and noticed that the the one that was touching is a more of a square tire and the other one's more of a round tire so i swapped them and now they're both really close but they're not touching so i guess technically i could run this but i don't know so i think for now like i want to put the matching tires on the back and i'm like yeah because you see the back and i'm like well the performance is coming from the front the performance is coming from the front because the front wheel drive but i'm thinking maybe i'll take one of the front tires put on the back and see what that gives me maybe i'll put the two good tires on the back and put the two shitty tires in the front and we'll go from there unfortunately putting the fronts on the rear didn't really change anything actually it did end up touching so I ended up putting them back so the good ones are on the front, the crappy ones are on the back. It's not enough to add risk driving down the road, so I'm gonna just gonna drive the side until I can figure something out with this, but it's enough that I can pull outside and get some beauty shots of it. Okay, so it's a little bit later on in the day. I'm just doing some maintenance on the van. The turn signal stopped working on it, so I'm just gotta replace the flasher. But I guess, what do I think of these wheels? I think for what I paid, which was like two or 300, 200 or $300 or something like that, I think they're pretty good. The tires definitely need to be replaced. Down the road, the rims definitely need to be stripped and powder coated. I'm just gonna get professionals to do that. I was gonna just paint them, which maybe I'll do, maybe I won't, but like the paint's already peeling, so why would I spend money to paint them, just have them peel away, just so I can powder coat them in the future anyway? It just doesn't make sense to me. And I definitely need new tires because all, or three out of the four different, and the reason, I think the reason it's hitting the back is one, because uh, it needs a proper camber kit, because the wheels have like negative camber, and two, the tires are just different, because I put that other tire on it, and it doesn't touch anymore. It's close, but it doesn't touch. But all in all, it looks pretty good. I've had, I posted on my social media, which means if you guys aren't following, go follow my Instagram, or yeah, my Instagram. I'll, I leave in the description every single time. But I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. People seem to love it. They can't wait to see more of it. So make sure you guys go follow that. And that's pretty much it. I got another video coming really soon on maybe taking some things off the Civic that I can't really be running on this. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys like the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. That's the easiest way for me to know that you guys like what I'm doing is by subscribing. And make sure to comment and I'll see you guys next time.